People thought I was crazy when I decided to open my business only four days of the week, but the truth is we do most of the work on the three days that we are closed. Today is prep day in the bakery and it's the day of the week where we get the most baking done even though we're not open to the public, but tomorrow we are, so today we have a lot of work to do. My first job of the day is to make the brownies. We make everything in as big a batches as we can, whatever will fit in the biggest bowl that we have and our big floor mixer here, Big Daddy. When I first opened my bakery, I thought this mixer was huge, but now we have a mixer that is over three times the size of this one. But a wise person once said, if you're not growing, you're dying. I'm not sure who said that, probably someone super famous, but I always think about that whenever I'm reinvesting money into the business. Once that brownie mixture is done, I do my arm workout for the day, which is to take the bowl from the floor to the bench. And you might think this is kind of gross, but I'm gonna do this with my hands. I get all of that batter off with my hands, but as you can see, I've got my clear gloves on, and this is just the easiest way to get all of that mixture off the paddle quickly and efficiently. I'm gonna go ahead and portion out that brownie mixture. I'm doing five trays in total, and then I've got my offset spatula, which puts it into all of the corners nice and neatly, and then I give it a quick tap as well. I'm making a new flavor of cookie today. In my last video, I asked you guys, what flavor of cookie should we make? I need new ideas, and so many of you said pumpkin spice, so that is the flavor that I'm making today. I'm using our signature base dough, which you guys can actually access the recipe if you would like to check out the Chunky Cookie Masterclass. And to that, I've added the pumpkin spice flavoring and then also some white chalk chips. And then I'm gonna roll each cookie in a cinnamon sugar dusting to give it kind of the same flavor as a snickerdoodle. Weighing every single cookie out by hand for accuracy as always, and then giving those a quick roll in the sugar dusting and kind of just really hoping for the best. While I wait for the dough to mature in the freezer, I'm getting to work on some of our new cake flavors. I've been wanting to launch a new cake catalog for such a long time, and finally it's coming to fruition. As soon as those dough balls have had long enough in the freezer, I get ready to put them in the oven. I was honestly so excited to try this cookie that I almost sat there in front of the oven and just watched them bake for 13 minutes. Here you can see they've got our signature doughy center with our golden crispy exterior and I cannot even describe to you in words how delicious this cookie is. It is officially my new favorite cookie flavor ever. Quickly fold some boxes to round out the day so that we're ready to go for tomorrow because the bakery is open and I'll see you guys then. Every day when I wake up and go to my bakery, I have no idea how busy it's gonna be. And that's because it's been so busy lately that all we can do is show up on the day and hope that we can get through all of the orders. So the first thing I do when I get there is print off all of the shipping labels and then get ready to work on the dough production. You see, on Mondays we have hundreds hundreds of orders to ship out because most people tend to book their cookie orders on the weekend. And it makes sense, the weekends is when we get all of our odd jobs done, so a lot of people are ordering these cookies and sending them to people for their birthday, asking them to be their bridesmaid, saying congratulations. So while Mondays are the busiest day for baking and packing orders, Tuesdays is where the real work happens. This is when we have to remake all of the cookie dough again so we have more cookies to ship in the mail. And because everything is made by hand, it does take us all day to get through the dough, but we do make 300 cookies per batch in our 80 litre dough mixer and then before you know it 12 hours later it's time to clean up and do it all again tomorrow.